Breathe Easy Service Training. My name is Rick Downey and today we're going to take a look at the PGDX, a single unit controller for the Megatech system. On this screen we can set up various functions. Let's take a close-up look at how this uh, PGDX sets up. Here I can do my comfort mode and all I have to do is push the button over to enable and then it's on for 120 minutes at my cooling set point and my heating set point as shown for comfort. To get back out of there, I can just touch the home screen again. If I want to set temperatures up, I can go in here and change it numerically. So I would do 76 and give it the check mark. Alarms are viewable. I have a number of alarms on here because I just have this PGDX connected to a PLC board out of a unit with the base program in it, so there are no sensors connected. So every sensor going to this unit shows as defective and in fault mode. Here I have on and off available. If I go in here, I can set some blower options up. This lets me choose continuous fan or not. High sensible mode is on. Balanced climate mode, I can turn that on. And then it would cycle on its own. If I needed to update the software on here or chose to because of a new feature, I could read the instructions to update the software right here. If you pop this little panel off, there's a micro USB connection that plugs in there, so you can use a thumb drive with the micro USB. Here's my emergency cooling. It's enabled. My high temp alarm set point is 90, so if I reach 90 degrees and I have an economizer on this unit, we'll go into ventilation. Now let's review the PGDX controller. The PGDX controller connected to a Megatech wall mount unit provides a system and shelter status display, set point control, access to adjust and select some of the wall mount features beyond the standalone operation if the unit is equipped. These include emergency cooling, alarm viewing, continuous blower selection, high sensible mode, balanced climate, and dehumidification. The remote temp and humidity sensors are built into the controls, so location of the control is important. Let's take a review of the icons on the screen. First, we've got that open padlock. That's our login screen. Here, we're looking at the current temperature display, and we touch that display to adjust the set point. On the left of the screen is a list of all of the current set points. Next, we're looking at the comfort mode selection. This is the information screen. By touching this button, it will open up an on and off switch so that we could shut the unit down. This is where I enter the configuration screen. This is the current humidity display, and we touch that display to adjust the set point. Active alarms are pictured here. It shows three active alarms, and if I touch the icon, it will give me alarm history. Currently the unit is cooling and here's my time and date. The processor is located on the back of the touchscreen where the red arrow is indicating. You can also note that that orange terminal is where the power goes into the board. The green terminal on the right is where your communications is going to connect. Be sure that you pay attention to the positive and negative markings on the terminals. Both the AC power and the communications are polarity sensitive. All the terminals have the polarity symbols positive and negative as pictured in this slide. One EMI filter is located in the unit and one EMI is located in the controller. And notice that both the power and the communication wire are looped together through the EMI filters. You should note that the four conductor shielded cable is field provided in order to connect the PGDX to the unit. 
Note that a PGD large service tool or TechEye diagnostic tool will be needed to commission the Megatech wall unit. Neither are included in the 8620-308 PGDX display kit. You can see what comes in the box. The PGDX touch display, the USB memory stick, and two EMI filters. In standalone mode, the units use set point and differential to stage on and off cooling and heating. If the sensor temperature is higher than 77.5 and the outdoor conditions are acceptable, the wall mount will enable the economizer. If the temperature is higher than 78, the unit will enable mechanical cooling. If the sensor raises a half a degree, the unit will enable stage two and at 79, stage three. You can see that there is a one degree dead band in there, so coming out of stage three won't happen until 78, and then 77 and a half for stage two, and 77, stage one goes off, and at 76.5, free cooling is done and the unit is quiet. If the temperature sensor is below 59.5, the unit will enable electric heat stage 1. If, if the temperature sensor falls below 59, the unit will enable electric heat stage 2. For more information about the PGDX single unit control kit, please review the specification sheet, and that is S3599 and or the installation manual number 2100-740A. Both of these pieces of literature are available on the BARD website. Thank you for joining me for this video presentation, and thank you for choosing BARD. BARD.